First at five on your news leader, a family searching for answers after human remains are found inside of a burned out car inside the Memphis police impound lot. That car has been connected to 20 year old Judarius Webb, who was recently reported missing in Horn Lake. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Official DNA confirmation is still pending, but Horn Lake police believe the remains do belong to Webb. WREG Shay Arthur is live tonight with new details about why it took MPD two days to locate the remains in that car. And Shay, uh, why wasn't it discovered when the car first came in? Stephanie, that's a great question, something we're pushing for the answers tonight. Uh, here's what we know so far. MPD telling me today that officers uh, there on the scene or Memphis Police Fire, Memphis Fire Department actually personnel could not clearly see those charred remains. But meanwhile, tonight, a heartbroken family, they want answers. What looks to be charred debris is what's left off Weaver and Tully Roads in southwest Memphis. Less than a week ago, just before four early Saturday morning, Memphis police and firefighters responded to a car on fire here. When the fire was out, MPD investigators took photos, completed a police report, and the car was taken to the city impound lot. That same morning, just hours later, the family of 20-year-old Jadarius Webb filed a missing person report with the Horn Lake Police Department. Two days later, Memphis PD tells us one of their officers who specializes in VIN identification examined the burned car closer to verify registration. It was then they made the shocking discovery, human remains in the passenger side back seat. Memphis police are calling the case a homicide. Horn Lake PD believes the remains belong to Jadarius. We talked to his father today. He didn't want to go on camera, but said his son wouldn't hurt a fly. He said for the last few days, he's been doing his own investigation to get answers about where Jadarius could be, saying he went to the scene where the car was on fire. Left behind, he found his son's work boots and a gas can. He also said he called the impound lot. Someone there told him the vehicles go through checks and there was nothing in the car. Sadly, this case takes us back more than six years ago, 2018, when a 33-year-old man was found with a gunshot wound in the back of a van that had been towed to the impound lot. His body was there for nearly seven weeks. You could probably see that I am visibly upset about this situation. Then police director Mike Rawlings pledged a comprehensive review of policies. The victims deserve better. The family members of the victims deserve better and our citizens deserve better. Ultimately, nine officers were disciplined, eight were suspended. Again, Stephanie Gray, we are pushing for answers in this case. MPD says right now this case is being investigated as a homicide. They are also conducting a routine internal review. We'll keep you posted. For your news leader, we're live in Fraser tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. We'll